Happening today, the Mare Island Dock of the Bay Festival gets underway in both music, a lot of good beer, and some great views of the waterfront as well. That festival has the promenade, those historic coal sheds that have been transformed, a great spot. And I talked to the festival organizers, Jeff Traeger and Kevin Frazier, about this festival that is now in its second year. Let's talk about this festival because it's exciting. I'm a big fan of Mare Island. I think it's an awesome venue and you put together some good food, some good drinks and some music and it looks like a winning combination from where I'm sitting. Absolutely. Um, the promenade's right on the waterfront. Have you been out onto the Mare Island waterfront? Okay. I have. I have. Yeah. It's impressive. So they, have a, they have a brewery out there on the waterfront and we put one of the stages over by the brewery, made a nice little VIP area for VIP guests. And then down the promenade, we put a second stage. But as you're going down the promenade, we have an art village with a whole bunch of local artists from all around the Bay Area. Then we've got food vendors, like you mentioned, in another coal shed making our food court and a lot of different international foods. Some from San Francisco, actually a couple of food trucks from the city. Yeah. Can we talk about the history of this venue? Because for people who don't know the coal sheds and Mare Island and kind of how that sets up and really how much work has been done to go into making, you know, really transforming what has a historical roots into uh, really what I think you guys believe is kind of a place for the future. Yeah, so the coal sheds were really used for the Navy and really to build a Navy ships with coal. And they're lined up along the waterfront so the boats could pull in and get their coal and take off. And over the years, they've been renovating these buildings. Um, they line up all the way down the promenade. And the first one was Mare Island Brew Company. And they took over and renovated the whole space and showed what could happen to these coal sheds when they were you know, taken care of. And, and they kept a lot of the architectural um, structure but made beautiful, you know, inside uh, brewery uh, for, for that space. And if you look at the others right now, they're just wide open. But the plan is that they're going to be building these out. And there's a ferry terminal just at the end of the promenade. So I think the goal is, is to have people taking the ferry from the city, from Marin, being able to come to the island, have this beautiful waterfront with all these businesses lined up. And there's gorgeous brick buildings. Uh, Savage and Cook is a little further down. That whole uh, waterfront is transforming. So what's the festival experience when you go? What are you hoping people get out of this when they come? Enjoyment. Um, and, and actually, what Jeff and I have done in our careers is we like to launch artists and we like to expose artists that maybe don't have that brand name that everyone knows but are fantastic touring musicians. Last year we brought Negrito and we brought Dumpster Funk and, and Jackie Green. This year we've got Carl Denson's Tiny Universe. We've got Eric Gales. We've got the Mother Hips and a jam band out of Marin called Vinyl that was huge uh, 20 years ago and have a very big Bay Area base. For them to come to something like this where they're like, I'm not, I've never really heard of those bands, who are they? It's great to see what happens when they come out there, they see the beauty of being on the waterfront and they're hearing this amazing music. But on the second stage, you know, we have people like Carlos Reyes, who's a, a fixture in the Bay Area, and Alwan Johnson, a great blues guitarist from uh, uh, from Vallejo. Um, we also have Miles Sean, who Miles Sean from uh, who's so, uh, the son of uh, um, Neil Neil Sean from Journey. From Journey. And then there's uh, Lauren Rowan uh, with the uh, Rowan Brothers has his Deep Blue Jam uh, mandolin based band. So again, all the locals are on the promenade stage um, and they're Bay Area favorites. So fantastic music lineup for sure. And free parking. That's very important. Free parking. That is no small thing. Free parking. <laughs> well, it's funny because, you know, you go to some of these big festivals and parking alone is $50. Just yes. to park your car. And then you still might have to walk four or five blocks to get to the venue. We it's 100% true. Yes. Yeah, and we're giving the VIPs valet parking with parking attendants um, out in front, parking their cars. And then the general admission have parking attendants helping them get to their parking spots, no charge. It's going to be perfect. Well, I'm excited for you guys. It sounds like really a tremendous event and really you couldn't, it's all lined up there for you, right? You've got your free parking to make it easier. You've got the fantastic way to support local bands and local businesses. And if you haven't been out to Mare Island, you are missing out. I feel like it's one of those secret gem spots that people go out there all the time and go, how come I didn't know this was here? 
and then they exactly. come back, which is what you guys want. And second year for the festival, right? Year two. Very exciting. Right. It's very exciting. Congratulations on this event and uh, good luck. I hope Thanks. it's packed. I hope Thanks there aren't so any parking spaces left. <laughs>